The show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the Hartford Yard Goats and the Harrisburg Senators. Into the box, Carlos Herrera. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Hit on the ground toward the left. Reined in. And a good throw gets him one gone. Standing in, Vince Fernandez. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. The 1 1 home. Strike two, swinging. Sanchez, a 25-year-old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Third. Now at the plate, the Colton piece. Welker. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's Welker. contest. And it's fouled away. Popped up. Harrison is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So coming to the plate, Rhett Wiseman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. is swung on and missed strike three. So stepping in, Yusel Antuna. He drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. And Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Digging in, Nick Banks. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The one-two. Line drive to left. That gets down and the inning continues. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Into the box now, KJ Harrison. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Play, Michael Tolia. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 2 1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Penn backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now at the plate, Brett Boswell. He was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Fouled off. The next 3 2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. 
In now, Miles Jones, who's ready for his first at bat of this early season Miles contest. The 3 1. He is in there for the second strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Sent on the ground out to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Drew Mendoza, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Striding into the box, Yadiel Hernandez. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Abreu is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Stepping into the box, Israel Pineda is ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. In now, number 83. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with the one two. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Late Willie Abreu, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Now the one and one pitch. Nope. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Line drive to left. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Batting it. The pepper, number 40. At the plate now, Arbison Perez. Perez. He swings and misses. Throw down. Falls there, and he is out. Good throw. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. The pitcher. So here yeah. now is the pitcher, Jack Wanku, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Well located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. Now a curveball in there, strike three called, and the inning is over. Digging in, Mario Sanchez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one. It is a fastball, then off the plate for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes, the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Abreu has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Riding in once again, Rhett Wiseman. He went down swinging to start the home first. A 1 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. This is pulled into right, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Ready for another chance? You sell Antuna. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
Pulled high in the air out to left field. Fernandez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Now in the box, Carlos Herrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you? Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Striding in, Vince Fernandez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. To two balls and two strikes now. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Stepping up now, Nick Banks. One for one after a single this first time up. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1-2. One, two. Ball two. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Full count now, three and two. KJ Harrison waits on deck. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Now back, the first baseman. Throw over to the bag, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Banks on at first, nobody out. Stepping in now, K.J. Harrison swung on and hit deep to left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Now batter, third baseman. Mendoza. So now to the plate, Drew Mendoza. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jones is there, and he has it for the first out. Standing in, Yadiel Hernandez. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. One out and a runner on second base. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Here now the 2 2. Israel Pineda is on deck. Weekly hit towards first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll put the tag on him. And that was pretty close at first. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Israel Pineda. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He set the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here's the payoff pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Michael Tolia. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 1-1 one, one home.
breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Second baseman. So Brett. digging in now, Brett Boswell. He flew out in his last at bat. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Up with it, Pineda. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Miles Jones. Miles Jones. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hernandez will wait on it as he tucks this one away to retire the side. So striding in, number 83. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and one, here it comes. Against left handed pitching so far this season, number 83 has a 280 batting average. All even now, two and two. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. So striding forward now, Mario Sanchez. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he misses 2 and 1. Fastball and Looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. It's amazing, I tell you. This guy's been absolutely cruising. The pitcher comes to the plate. You're thinking it's an easy out. You lose focus, let your guard down for a second. Now he's got a three ball count. And it's fouled away. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rhett Wiseman hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. set for the start of the inning into the box now Willie Abreu he singled his last time up the 1 1 the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone great a B up to this point a walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup tough pitch to lay off but he did and it's now ball back. four so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the six now a throw over and he'll get back in safely Here comes the 1 1. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. At the plate, Jack Weinkoop. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Runners on first with one down. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now back to the top now of the lineup, stepping in, Carlos Herrera, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. For 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And it's two balls and two strikes now. 
pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Vince Fernandez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And gone. A dramatic home run that gives them their first lead of the game. Into the box, Colton Welker. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Ready once again, Yasel Antuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that's the first down. Digging in and looking for more, Nick Banks. Two base hits, both singles to this point. to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Digging in once again K.J. Harrison. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. James Bork is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Tolia. 0 for 2 for him so far. He's flied out and popped out. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Lays off. Two and two now. Now the pitch. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a good take there is they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now, that, now to that the plate, team. Brett Boswell. Brett. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The 1-1 home. Lifted down the line and left. Hernandez will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. Digging in now, Miles Jones. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, that's that. Left side. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Lupin Kozar gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Stepping into the box, Drew Mendoza. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full, three and two. 
This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Herrera retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. Settling in now, Yadiel Hernandez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready now is Rail Pineda. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. Now the three and two pitch. Is swung on and missed strike three. Leading off the inning, Willie Abreu, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Line drive, fair ball down the line. Around first, digging for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now the catcher, Arbison Perez. Standing in now, Arbison Perez. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. in the air out to straightaway left. Hernandez is there and he has it for the out. Grant Levine will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Grant Levine. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And it's one and two. towards second and oh the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first coming to the plate now Carlos Herrera he struggled at the top of the lineup in this one hitless to this point lifted down the line and left and that will get down as he delivers a big one here it's a base hit and no chance there. He'll make it the third safely. The left fielder, number eight, Ben Fernandez. To the plate now, Vince Fernandez. Swing and a line drive. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Brian Bunnell will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot the in the lineup following the double Thank switch. You. Spencer Keeboom will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. At the plate now, Colton Welker. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. Now pitching and batting nine, number 27. And he fouls this one off. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Another one-two delivery. First and second now, one man out. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. There's one on the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. 
Jose Mujica is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 44. Jose. Digging in to try it again. Number 83. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And this is fouled at the plate. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Fastball just inside. Popped high in the air. Herrera waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in, Spencer Keeboom. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And there's out number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Rhett Wiseman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Fouled off. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Yasel Antuna would be next. High and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Michael Tolia. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. set here's the 3 1 and it's full now 3 and 2 and this pitch misses here it's ball four and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the night now at the plate Brett Boswell no hits in three tries so far he struck out once here now the 2 2 gets him swinging he struck him out Coming to the plate now, Miles now Jones. The Runner at first here, Miles one man out. Jones. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. swing and a shot hit down the corner mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball now the payoff pitch home and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four. First and second now with one away now at the plate Willie Abreu he doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance swing and a liner to left center field and that's going to drop in for a base hit and that'll play run number six it's now a six to one ball game the pecker, number 40, Arvison. in now Arvison Perez. Perez no offer on that one two balls and a strike a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base two and two hit out towards second oh and he can't come up with it and the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first Ryan Brindley enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine Francesco Feliciano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here number six Francesco Feliciano In for strike two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batter. 
stepping up to the plate, Carlos Herrera. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Belted high and deep into right center. Gone! It's a grand slam! Into the box now, Vince Fernandez. Inside, he misses ball four. Stepping in, Colton Welker. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now the first base. At the plate, Michael Tolia. And he takes a cold strike, too. Hey, be thankful the batter was sitting on something else. Or that pitch might have went a long way. Those cement mixers, you get the barrel to them, they can be torched. The one two on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Harrison Musgrave, six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Gisel Antuna will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. The center fielder, number seven, Nick. Into the box, Nick Banks, and it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting. The first baseman, KJ. Stepping in now, KJ Harrison. Slow roller down the third baseline. Here's the one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Drew Mendoza. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now the two one pitch. Hit softly down the line at first. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. To second for one. On to first. And he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style. Turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. Ten to one. The final lopsided score in this ball game. The Hartford Yard Goats wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jack Weinkoop gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.
fans our final line score. First for the victorious Yargo, 10 runs on eight hits. No error, they left five men on base. For the Senators, one run on six hits, one error, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.